Norway, land of the midnight sun, of the aurora borealis, of majestic mountains and boreal forests, rugged coastlines and of course the world-renowned fjords. But what does this have to do with the Snow Queen Ultra? Well back in the 19th century the popular children's author Hans Christian Andersen wrote his most famous story about good versus evil. This story was set in Norway and it was known as the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen Ultra would be a 183 kilometer or 113.6 mile virtual journey across Norway, recreating part of the story by visiting landmarks mentioned in the book. And it was to be completed during the winter months. The rules would be simple. I would be completing my race in my home country of Canada with my route of choice being Jasper to Maline Lake in Jasper National Park in Alberta. I would be starting on the winter solstice, December the 21st, and I'd be completing 61 kilometres per day for three consecutive days. Each day I would be starting at sunrise, and I must complete the distance by sunset on that same day. If I didn't complete the 61 kilometres within the time limit, it would create a deficit for the following day. I would alternate direction of the course each day between Maline Lake and Jasper. I had to complete the entire distance by sunset on December the 23rd, which would be three days later. It would be the middle of winter in the Canadian Rockies, where the weather could have a huge impact on my success. I was excited, I was nervous, but I was ready to go. It's coming up to 8 o'clock on Monday the 21st of December. I've got my Tims and we're just heading off to start at Maline Lake to try and catch the sunrise. Catch you later. Cheers. So it's five minutes to go time for the Snow Queen Ultra and here I am at Maline Lake. And as you can see, there is a stunning view here and an absolutely beautiful morning. So I suspect I'm going to be on the road probably the next six or seven hours. Conditions are looking good at the moment. It's not too cold, it's around about minus nine at the moment, but there's no wind, there's no snow, and I'm ready to go. Right, okay, here we go. Let's get off on this 61 kilometer journey from Maline Lake to Jasper. Catch you later. So back in the summer months, I came here to do the Skyline Trail with a few friends and as you can see it's looking a little different today than it was back in June. We're not allowed up there in the winter months because it's protected caribou habitat so I'm actually going to be running along the Maline Lake Road um, but it's still pretty snowy as you can see uh, but otherwise conditions are pretty good as I say and uh, I better get going rather than standing around here talking to you. Um, so the friends that did the Skyline Trail with me, Julie, Heidi and Steve, hey guys, this one today is for you. Catch you later. Those mountains up there are part of the Skyline Trail. Oh, to be up there today. <laughs> but I tell you what, it is beautiful here too. I really don't mind. I'm in the outdoors and I'm running. What more could a girl ask for? Woo!
so I've just seen my first wild animal. Fortunately, it was just a little squirrel running across the road. And he certainly did a really good spring over this snowbank blessing. Uh, so yeah, I'm about 5k into my run now. These are the views that I'm running towards. Absolutely stunning. And of course, these are the views that I'm leaving behind. <laughs> I love it out here. I love the mountains. I love the winter months. <sighs> Let's get going. So this is going to sound a little crazy, but one of the things that I was a little bit scared about running out this way was, of course, the risk of avalanche. Now, I'm not going into the backcountry, I'm not going up on any mountain trails, but even on this road, there's still a risk. Um, <laughs> so I might just pick it up a little bit going through here. Ah, probably not. <laughs> I'm almost at 10k, so I'm going to be taking a little break soon and have some fuel. So I will catch you again shortly. Okay, so I've been going for a little over an hour and I've just reached 11 kilometers. So that's probably six and a half miles, six and three quarters. I've got 50k to go, 31 miles or just over 31. I'm just gonna have a little bit of energy now. I'm gonna take one of these energy gels and a few jelly beans. <laughs> and of course I've got tailwind in my backpack. Now sometimes I do have problems with my drinks freezing. So I've got my water bladder wrapped in a woolen um, sweater, if you like, quite lightweight, thankfully. And I also have my drinks tube tucked in my down jacket here to keep it from freezing. Look at those views. Oh my goodness. It is stunning. Woo. So my tube's frozen, I'm going to have to either defrost it or, uh, I don't know, just leave it with you and I'll grab a drink every 5k or something. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Oh, I won't stop here. Be prepared, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The joys of ultra running in the winter. There we go, that'll do me. Oh, so that's not frozen, it's just the tube. Mm -hmm. So I'll get a good drink now and then in another half an hour if you can do the same again for me. Mm -hmm. That should do, because it might, I don't want to drink on any of this stuff. Cast mm -hmm. don't like that. <laughs> Okay. 
There we go. So yeah, just stop every half hour for me and I'll grab a drink. Mm -hmm. All right then, thanks. Okay. Bye. As you'll have just seen, I was just saying about putting wool around my bladder. The bladder's actually okay. It's actually the tube that's frozen, even though I tucked it into my top. But there's just about six inches of the tube that's exposed to the cold air. And apparently it's minus 13 at the moment. So I've left my bladder with Andy. And he's going to make sure that he hands me a drink every, every half hour or so to make sure I stay hydrated. So even in the winter months, you still have to make sure that you stay hydrated. Um, I am actually very warm at the moment. I've got plenty of warm clothing on. So let's crack on. Okay, so I'm now at around about 16 or 17 kilometers and this lake behind me is Medicine Lake and I have to run the entire length of this now to the top end and then I think I'll have reached the, the halfway point by then. I'm still feeling good. Uh, I'm probably going a little bit too quick because I've got another two days of this but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Ultra runners are never sensible, let's face it. I'm around about 11 miles. I've just had a ham and cheese sandwich from Andy. And <laughs> Wilson, Luke is coming to join me for a couple of miles. So Wilson's going to join me for the next 5k or so. And then I'm going to swap and probably take April with me. So uh, I'm going to carry on because we're making good progress so far. Okay, let's go. You ready? You ready, Wilson? Yay! <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> this peak over here looks a little bit like the notch from where we did the Skyline Trail. And it just shows you how high up we were back then. I'm just down in the valley at the moment, but I'm having an awesome time. It's actually getting quite warm now. This little boy's having a good roll. Oh, hello, Wilson. Uh, we're probably about halfway along the lake at the moment. I'm assuming that Andy will be up ahead somewhere to take Wilson off me. It's actually hard running with Wilson today because I haven't got the proper dog running gear with me. But uh, he's also very fast. He's getting a little bit too quick for me at the moment, aren't you, buddy? Yes, you are. You're getting too fast for me. There you go. Puppy cuddles. <laughs> So now I've been joined by this little tinker. This is April <laughs> and I'm getting puppy cuddles off her too. I've got, <laughs> there we go. That's what it's called a puppy cuddle. Yes. So we're going to do two miles together again and then Andy will take her off me so that I can crack on. We're nearly at the end of the lake. Yay. <laughs> so let's get going.
I'm not sure if you can see these prints in the snow, but these definitely aren't dog prints. They are quite possibly, I'm not a tracker by any means, but these do look like big cats, <laughs> which is a little scary. Uh, but yes, there are cougars around here. Um, I'm kind of hoping I don't see one today. There's cougar tracks back there. <laughs> Woo! So I'm now at the top end of Medicine Lake. I am now coming up to 16 miles into my run, approaching the halfway mark. Still feeling good, although the dogs were a little bit fast for me on that last four or five miles. But I'm still doing good, I'm still feeling good. There's cougar tracks here, so I'm getting a little bit freaked out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's proper cougar country, and I'm <laughs> myself. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of trees, and seeing those cougar prints has freaked me out a little bit. Uh, as we know, cougars are ambush animals, and they stalk, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just a little uneasy at the moment. I really am. I'd feel better if, if it was a little bit busier right now. So as you can see, there are some more tracks here. I'll be honest, I would much rather see deer or a moose or something. Although moose can be quite dangerous. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm in the wildlife area now for sure. Ungulates. so quiet that the silence is crazily deafening. All I can hear right now is my heart boost in my ears. <laughs> I'm coming up to 22 miles which is what, 34, 35k. So I'm well over halfway now. Uh, the legs are definitely starting to feel it. I think I did set up a little fast. Uh, and I think the dogs obviously made it hard work too. Uh, I'm just going up this wee bit of a hill at the moment. So uh, yeah. I thought this bit was flat. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. So I set off this morning wearing my spike cross. It's been a little bit icy and snowy all the way. But now, as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit more slushy. It has gone a little touch warmer down here. We're probably around about minus five, minus six Celsius as opposed to the minus 13 earlier. Uh, I think I'm going to have to switch out from the spikes soon because I think they're going to hurt my feet if I'm not careful and I've still got a ways to go. So a car has just gone past and uh, <laughs> they've given me a huge cheer as I went by 
and I think I probably saw that car a couple of hours ago heading towards Maline Lake and obviously they're heading back home or back to the hotel now so that was quite nice just having that little bit of a yay go 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 and uh, oh, it was a spring in your step <laughs> and it's here time for a shoe change now these tracks are different they look a little bit smaller than the ones I saw earlier so I'm not sure whether this is baby cougar or whether it's I don't know bobcat um, I, I don't know they could they could be wolf prints I really do need to get my uh, tracking up to speed if anybody knows what these are let me know uh, we'll feel better if I know what's uh, in the area so I'm now at Maline Canyon and this means that I'm not too far from the town of Jasper it's probably about another 10k into town but I'm gonna have to just do a loop around town to make up the distance for 61 kilometers today um, I'm gonna have a little detour into the canyon uh, it's pretty impressive so uh, <clears throat> let's go take a look this is a little bit icy and I've just taken off my spikes because the road was slushy but we're good those views, absolutely stunning. There we go. Dell's fall on camera. <sighs> Excuse my language. <laughs> that hurt. I'm okay, good. <sighs> well, this one is a little bit icy, so I'm actually walking on this stretch because I just just I did just take a tumble. Uh, <laughs> I may or may not put that on the video. Uh, as you can see, it's lots of forest around here. And I know that, uh, I think there's an oval look here. I came here probably about 10, 15 years ago with my mum and dad and Andy when we all came to Canada for a visit before we moved here. And I'm pretty sure that we came along this trail um, but I don't remember it's a long time ago uh, this is gonna just slow me down a little bit because I am walking I don't want to take a, a fall and hurt myself but uh, I'll be back soon so I decided not to go all the way down that trail because as you can see this is pretty icy and I don't have the right footwear on so I'm now heading back and I'm gonna get back on the road. So I did take some footage of the canyon um, down on the other trail. So here's that for you to have a look at. I recall earlier today that I mentioned about the Skyline Trail. Well, when we did it back in June, this was our finish line. And this is by Maline Canyon. 
and that was a really memorable day and we had tons of fun and as was earlier this area is still closed because this is still part of the caribou protection area unfortunately this isn't my finish line today i still have approximately 15 or 16k still to go i've got two and a half hours to do that in i think maybe a little bit less now um, if i want to beat the sunset so i'm going to crack on and uh, I shall catch you later. So there's, there's a little critter down here. There we go, Fox. I don't know if you can see him. There's a little fox. I can handle a fox. It's not a cougar. That's good. We're all good. I don't want to scare him. He's out hunting. He has a hard time as it is. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys. Well, I've just gone through the 50 kilometre mark. I've got 11k to go. Um, we're just coming up to the Fairmont Jasper Hotel. Um, I don't know if I can get through here. We're just going to go and have a little nosy to see if I can get around. But if not, I've got to head back that away and run down the highway for a couple of miles. Um, but I, I suspect within the next hour or so I should be finished. And the sun sets in about one hour and 20 minutes. So the push is on. So I couldn't get through that way. They actually have a, a COVID checkpoint for all guests at the hotel. And they're stopping everybody going in. And my phone battery's actually only on about 13%. And whilst there would be a trail around there, if I take a wrong turn in and my battery dies, I'm going to get lost, if I'm honest with you. And I'm not prepared to risk it. So I'm heading back down this road. I'm going to have to hit the highway for a mile or two. And then it's straight into Jasper to complete today's 61 kilometres. Still about an hour of running to go, uh, but so far, I think we're gonna beat the sunset. The good news is that there's actually a trail that's marked out alongside the highway so I don't have to run on that uh, I was a little bit concerned about running where all the traffic is but this is pretty good and uh, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit noisy than what I've been used to all day <laughs> but we're nearly back in Jasper I've scored about four miles or around about six kilometers still to do and um, so I will have to just do a loop of town to finish but I just got a little bit of knee pain but other than that I'm feeling good so this is a lovely little trail that's taking me back into town but it sure beats running up that road and uh, it's lovely again I'm feeling good I'm ready to finish I'll be honest with you but otherwise I'm feeling good really really hungry I'm absolutely famished but uh, oh God. <laughs> hey folks so the sun is definitely setting now it's currently 5 to 4 3.55 and uh, <laughs> the good news is I've only got a couple of miles to go so uh, I think I'm going to beat that sunset today tomorrow's definitely going to be tough uh, there's snow in the forecast, so I have no idea what the conditions will be like. I also think I'm going to be heavy legged if how my legs feel now are anything to go by. But it's been a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Definitely need to refuel. I don't think I've actually eaten enough today, um, but that's okay. At least I've got another couple of days to get things right. <laughs> so, on to the finish for the first day of the Snow Queen Ultra.
Oh my goodness, well that was a tough one but I'm very pleased to say that I have just this second finished my 38 miles for the day or 61 kilometres and my legs are buggered but you know what, it's been a fun day I'm actually feeling really really good and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow I know tonight I can refuel I can have a good sleep, have a nice hot bath ready to tackle pretty much all the same again tomorrow so uh, yeah on that note I suppose it's time to say bye bye for now until tomorrow and I shall check in again with you all in the morning